what is up you guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel it felt so nice to say this i miss saying this i also wait yet again never know when that where to look here okay because here i'm looking here at me but then over there like i'm looking at you i don't know it's confusing anyways all right okay so what is up guys i hope you're all good feels nice to just sit and just talk to the camera like i did so much in 2020 and every year before this year it feels like but i just wanted to talk about this very very quickly i hope y'all are all good let me know how you're doing in the comments um and this video is going to be unedited because i'm just going to say what i have to say and that's the end of it okay um so basically i'm not starting a new chapter but i'm not talking about harry and megan on this channel anymore and I don't want to talk about them at all, ever again, for the rest of my life. Because, as you guys know, if you're new here and you're like, to me, like, I just subscribed to your channel yesterday because I did get a bunch of subscribers yesterday, so thank you, hello. But, yeah, I'm not talking about Megan and Harry anymore. You guys who don't know, I used to be a Megan fan when she joined the family because I've been a fan of, like, Princess Diana royalty in general for a long time. And... Um, I was a fan of Megan, embarrassingly enough, started a fan account and then became a royal watcher in the sense of like, I liked the whole royal family basically, other than certain members of the family that I won't name. But I was more in it for the fashion and just women in the royal family because I just find that very fascinating, marrying into some big fancy um, family. And what bigger family is there, fancy wise, than a royal family, right? And so, yeah, you guys know how I feel. I feel that Meghan Markle is a narcissist and Harry is also a narcissist, but the royal family was covering up for him. That's my opinion based off the things that we've seen, not the puff pieces that the media has put out, but our own true observations of saying one thing and doing the other and saying one thing and doing the other. And this is why I just am washing my hands like Pontius Pilate and cannot do it anymore because... <laughs> It's like, if I spent every day on this channel talking about the devil, the devil is still going to be the devil. You can study the devil in and out and know that Satan is the father of lies, but Satan is still going to be Satan. And at the end of the day, the negativity is just going to drain you. So, we already know that Harry has talked extensively on podcasts, on interviews, on um books in his book in finding freedom that he helped write with omid scooby and then said he didn't help megan said she didn't help but the emails proved that's a lie and countless interviews and most you know oprah and the apple tv series and everything he's ever said after leaving the royal family about how he had what he called genetic pain which there's that's not a real thing it's um supposed to be generational trauma but he he's not that smart like his mother said so it's genetic pain that he claimed he had um so he had generational trauma from being brought up in the wealthiest one of the wealthiest families in history and having maids and servants and living in a palace and his dad being busy and you know all those things um so he basically said he had all this genetic pain from being a prince but now he has baptized his children as a prince and princess which technically they are entitled to those titles as the um grandchildren of the current monarch apparently because we know uh queen elizabeth ii god rest her soul amended the letters patent to say that well so okay the thing is there are some people who believe that it's the grandchildren of the one who's on the throne like in line to the throne so the firstborn so that's how it was but the queen amended it it's a long story but i'm uh, not a royal biographer you can look that stuff up yourself however <laughs> okay Harry has then passed on these super duper traumatic titles to his own children and um of course we know that Megan did her little pap walk the other day looking like a black widow because she was literally wearing all black from head to toe with the not a pearl necklace I'm thinking of Kamala wearing the pearl earrings or whatever she was wearing and the big ass sunglasses and the big black coat and all of that kind of stuff just looking ridiculous in Los Angeles because Los Angeles is hot most of the time all year round and it's just you know grinning like every the thing is a narcissist i'm sorry to say it like this like the devil is predictable because this is the devil is gonna lie jesus said what the thief which is satan comes to steal kill and destroy what you know a narcissist is gonna do is lie 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 some more 
and then get away with murder and then smile about it like a psychopath because that's what they are. They don't have the same brain that other people have where you say, okay, I have self-accountability. I'm going to actually look at my actions and say, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should apologize, this, that, and the fourth. And the thing about a narcissist is this is what they do. They'll throw a stone, hide their hand. They'll uh, slap you and then say you made their hand hurt, those sorts of things. And so Megan has been going on and on about how you know, I don't need a title. <laughs> when she spoke to Gloria Steinem, she said we're, we're linked, not ranked, in the sense of we are human beings that are connected, not one person above the other. However, it's been reported from inside sources, as in her own staff, that she makes them curtsy to her and call her Duchess this, Madam Duchess that, Duchess this, Duchess, 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 Your Majesty, Your Highness, whatever it is behind closed doors. So she does believe in ranking. She's always throwing around the fact that she's the Duchess of Sussex, even though she has not lived in the family in that country for three years. And it's like, I mean, imagine if Barack Obama, everywhere he, he goes, he's no longer the president. He was the president. That was his previous job title but imagine if everywhere he goes he's still demanding when you see me you do not call me my first name or mr obama or nothing you call me <laughs> i almost said madam president why did i think of madam president <laughs> tv shows but he's, he's saying you call me president call me president call me uh um commander in chief everywhere i go that's just ridiculous because currently you do not hold that title and that was a job and it's over now but still um it's one of those things where it's like you keep saying i don't need this i don't need this i don't need that but then at the same time you're saying call me call me the same title that i say i don't need and it's just one of those things where it's like at this point since megxit we have seen the same pattern over and over again like if you knew somebody whose couple was an off and off, off again, on again couple over and over and over. And every day they're calling you saying, oh, to me, Bobby, he, 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 he cheated. We all, everybody knows. Everyone knows Bobby does not love Cynthia and he's cheating on her 24 seven. And we all see it. And every day on Facebook, she's posting these long statuses. Oh, Bobby, I loved him. I gave him the best years of my life and he ain't good. He good for nothing. And then the next day they're back together on again, off again, boy who cried wolf sort of situation like a, like a hamster wheel. It doesn't go anywhere. So we have seen the, I don't need a title. I need, my kids need a title though. What about the international protected person status so we can get taxpayer funded security? We need security. We have hate comments. My, my, my fan base is literally trolling people almost to death and making all these death threats. But you know, I advocate for peace and oh, I'm gonna go on Oprah and every single media platform in existence and air my grievances. But oh, we need privacy, but we didn't say that. Like when Harry said, his wife never said that the royal family was racist. I was just like, yo, these these people are literally living on another planet. They're not living in... <laughs> He's like, did she say that? Look, I, I asked my friend this question. I said, look, if I came to you and told you that my boss at work grabbed me on the buttocks, right? <laughs> and I was going to say something else, but grabbed me on the buttocks, okay? <laughs> and... And I said, he grabbed me on the butt and I'm going to HR. And I went to HR and I said, yeah, my, my, my boss grabbed me on the butt. And, you know, he said, hey, sweetie, um, how about you come to my office after hours? And then I turn around, I, I go to all the feminist lawyers and, and, and file a case against him and sue him and the company and whatever for sexual harassment. And then one year later, I'm being interviewed about my experience. And I said, I never said he sexually harassed me. I never said that. When did I say that? Because I didn't. And people, people are now doing this thing where they're saying, do I say this in this exact words? Like I've seen a lot of Muslims random. Okay. And don't get mad because I know it's Ramadan, but this is an example. I've seen a lot of Muslims say that Jesus never said verbatim. I am God worship me. Yeah, he never said that verbatim, but did he have to say that when he was raising the dead? When he said that me and my father are one and his father being God? Um, did he <laughs> did he say that when he, um, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody gets to God except through me? And that um, he's the good shepherd who lays his life down, that he dies for his creation. It, it did did he have to did he have to say I am God worship me when everything else basically that he said so encompassed that thing? So they will literally argue with you. 
until Jesus comes back about the fact that Jesus verbatim did not say, I am God, worship me. So therefore, he never said that he was one with God, but he said me and the Father are one. As in, he's the son of, he called himself the son of God. All of those things. Uh, so, and he said, whoever has seen me has seen the Father, meaning whoever has seen Jesus has seen God. So how can somebody say that unless they believe that they're God or one with God or, you know, the Trinity or whatever you want to call it. So it's one of those things where there are some people now that's the new trend to say that I never said this verbatim. And it is the most annoying thing because you can say that thing in so many words. If I said, hey guys, I met someone and he's very special to me and, um, you know, things are going really well and I'll introduce you to him when the time is right. And somebody says, hey, to me, how's your boyfriend? And I say, did I say I had a boyfriend? When did I say I have a boyfriend? I have implied with what I just said, I'm seeing someone and I'll introduce you to him when the time is right, that I have a boyfriend. So then for you to ask me, where's your boyfriend? And I get mad, that doesn't make any sense. That was just an example, I'm single, okay? But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like at this point, the coronation is coming and now they're playing these will she, won't she games and the TIG is coming back. So all of this, oh, I'm ready to hit the ground running. I'm here to support my husband. I gave up my life and my career for him is not reality anymore they're going she's backpedaling and trying to be the next uh gwyneth paltrow yet again she's bringing back her blog she kept her own entertainment lawyers when she met harry she never she never got rid of her life her 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 her, her uh her actress life because she kept her managers and when she came to new york city for the baby shower she met with those people and allegedly told them she wanted to be bigger than diana so all that being said i do not have the energy in me anymore to play whack-a-mole about narcissists because those people also are are energy vampires they literally feed off of this and megan even said in the netflix documentary that these people she meant that they she said the daily mail but she also meant everybody else who talked about her these people are making a fortune out of us i have never made a fortune out of megan markle the one time i made over one thousand dollars in a month on youtube um was not about it was before i even talked about her i didn't even talk about her at that time or something to that effect i know what video it was that made me get that kind of money and it was not megan markle i assure you that but i just want to say thank you guys who have been on this journey with me i don't care if megan shows up in the court to the coronation wearing a dress that looks like marie antoinette with the six foot wig on i cannot i don't have i just don't have it in me because it just feels like we're playing whack-a-mole and it's just like Megan pops up here and says this and Megan pops up here and says that and she puts out her their PR team is putting out all these puff pieces and the thing is look if I had twenty thousand dollars a month in disposable income to just get my name in the press you would literally see pictures of me Tumi Yuki went out for frozen yogurt today here's what she was wearing Tumi Yuki is the is the vision of beauty uh, uh radiating beauty when she walks out of the dermatologist appointment Tumiyuki was spotted at the mall with friends. Here's what she uh here's what she bought according to insiders. Oh, an inside source is telling us that oh, Tumiyuki was spotted on a date with a guy um downtown Portland eating at this restaurant. The couple looked so happy. All of that is pay for play, right? All of this stuff is just pay for play. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always going to be. And in the era of social media, you actually have people who are not afraid to expose those things. So those of you who are leaving my channel because you just don't want to hear about art or Jesus or travel vlogs, thank you. And it was nice having you here. Those of you who are sticking around who want to see more about art, Jesus, travel vlogs, food, beauty stuff, all of that fun stuff um thank you for sticking around and i look forward to having you here okay so thank you guys so much um yeah i'm sorry i just don't have i literally just don't i when i think about megan i just get tired like i just feel like she's she's aging me <laughs> um i dyed my hair today guys and yeah because I had gray hair when I parted my hair down the middle and I was like, nah, I'm too young for this. But okay. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, okay? Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thank you.